Hey guys, welcome back to how to make elements from household materials. Today's element is going to be chlorine. As a quick side note, chlorine gas is highly toxic and full PPE and a gas mask must be worn. This should not be attempted at home under any circumstances. Chlorine gas is a very useful oxidizing agent and thus being able to set up a quick and cheap chlorine gas generator is necessary for many reactions. Several different chemicals can be used, however in this case I will be using trichloroisocyanuric acid, which can be bought as a pool chemical from hardware stores, and hydrochloric acid, which is sold as muriatic acid, also at hardware stores. Alternatively, bleach and hydrochloric acid, calcium hypochlorite and hydrochloric acid, or potassium proximonosulfate and a sodium chloride solution can be used. Both calcium hypochlorite and potassium proximonosulfate are available as pool chemicals as well. Electrolysis of a saturated sodium chloride solution will also produce chlorine gas, although at a much slower rate than using this method. After the apparatus was assembled, a 200 gram trichloroisocyanuric acid puck was broken apart with a hammer and added to a 500 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask with a gas takeoff adapter. Then, while ensuring the stopcock was closed, a bunch of hydrochloric acid was added to a 500 milliliter pressure equalizing addition funnel. Next, some concentrated sulfuric acid from drain cleaner was added to a gas washing bottle to dehydrate the chlorine gas produced. Purified sulfuric acid can also be used, which I showed to produce in a previous video, however drain cleaner purity is sufficient. Alternatively, anhydrous calcium chloride can also be used, which can be dehydrated above 260 degrees Celsius from calcium chloride bought as a pool chemical. The outlet tube of the gas washing bottle was then attached to a glass tube and inserted into a collection flask to collect the chlorine. While ensuring a gas mask is worn, the stopcock of the addition funnel can be slightly opened to begin adding hydrochloric acid to the flask. Chlorine gas is immediately liberated, dehydrated by the sulfuric acid in the gas washing bottle, and dry chlorine is directed out of the glass tube. After just a few moments, a nice liter of chlorine gas is obtained. This generator can be set up and used for any reaction requiring dried chlorine gas, and the rate of chlorine production can be controlled by the drip rate of the hydrochloric acid addition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in a future project. Okay, bye.